This video is to explain the water problem that we're having on New York State Route 196. This is only to demonstrate the road water problem. This doesn't have anything to do with the watershed coming off of Shine Hill Road. That is another video altogether. With this video, what I want to demonstrate is the drop in elevation. Um, from Shine Hill Road intersection, which is your lower left hand corner where it says 375 feet, to the upper right hand corner where it says 337 feet. That 337 feet is in the driveway intersection for Paul Donaldson's house, the big white house with the old cars out front, my father. So as you can see, if we come work from my father's house from the 337 down to Cornell's house, which is 323 feet elevation in front of their driveway, down to my driveway, which is 281 feet in front of my driveway. Then you get to a part that's 278 feet, which goes on for about 60 feet. Um, all these elevations were taken uh, with a Garmin uh, GPS map. Six, uh, 60 CS, um, which I calibrated at the bottom of the driveway before I started. So, all the colors, the white color elevations, uh, those were all at intersections. The 318 elevation was taken in front of Doris Aubrey's house, which is down uh, the first hill coming down from Shine Hill on the flat area before you drop in to the valley where I am. Now, if you look at the distance between the 375 feet and the 337 feet, which I measured to be uh, 4,280 feet, uh, which is 0.81 miles of road between those two points, 196 official length total is 10.27 miles. So this section of roadway represents around almost 8% of the total length of Route 196. Um, what I'm going to show you next is uh, some videos that I took um, when we had the rain on Wednesday, which was September 26, 2018 around 6, maybe 6.15, somewhere around there. I went down just to, to um, take some shots of, of road uh, cars on the road so you can see the water gathering. Now, this is just from the roadway. This doesn't have anything to do. You can see the stream there. Uh, you will see the stream. This is not even full yet. So it's been very dry. Uh, we
Okay, so that was Wednesday, uh, September 26, 2018, around maybe 6.15, 6.20. And that rain really didn't last. It was, it was pretty good coming down, but it didn't last that long, if um, maybe less than an hour. Um, I've seen it rain harder. I've seen it rain a lot longer. When it does, that area where we have the 278 feet, there's 60, 80 feet of it that will just become an inch of water on there. Uh, it just can't get off the road quick enough coming down the hill from Shine Hill and from the other direction as well coming down the hill. So all that water is coming down here. Um, if we do get more rain uh, this week, which I think we're going to, I will document it. Once the waterway is filled up, you're going to see a lot of water here. What you're going to see next is what I found the next afternoon. Uh, left around 6.30 a.m. It wasn't there. I come back around 1 p.m. on Thursday, the 27th, and this is what I found in my driveway. I guess this is a, uh, a Trump move. Uh, I don't know if this is New York State DOT telling me to uh, deal with it myself, like Ian Miller told me. He goes, I have to put my own culvert in, even though my father already paid for it. Uh, but uh, if we will look across the street, and you can see my neighbors, uh, but they work for the government too, so they got their culverts put in for free, and their trees trimmed as well. Yeah, single guy, no kids, I'm paying $3,600 for uh, Harvard Gentle School, and $3,200 uh, to the county, I don't even know what for, they don't do anything for me. 